I can't even talk. I don't even know why I'm trying to film a video today. I, I, don't, I don't even know. Oof. Hi. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Fancy Horse Lover Studios. I don't know about you guys, but I am exhausted. Briarfest was crazy, it was a lot of fun. Um, anyways, today I'm gonna be doing my haul video for all the horses that I got at Briarfest. I'm so exhausted, so I have no idea if this is gonna work or not, but please bear with me, <laughs> and we'll try to get through this one together, guys. So here's kind of an overview of everything that I got. There's also a couple models on the floor because I could not fit any more on this table. So I'm going to go ahead and start on this end. So we arrived at Briarfest on Thursday evening. Um, we did not stay at the Clarion, but we unpacked really quickly at our hotel and then headed over to the Clarion. And I had arranged to do all of my pickups on Thursday evening. I just wanted to know exactly how much money I had for the, lust of, for the rest of the weekend. Um, so I wanted to get my pickups out of the way Thursday evening. So um, the first guy over here is a Bayron. Peter Stone on the Western Horse Mold, and I got him for $15. And then, um, next we have Aurelius, and I got him for $40. And then I have Tallulah, um, and she looked so cute on the pictures that I got. Um, I paid $65 for her. And then, a really great pickup that I was super happy I got was this Grullo, Grullo, however you like to say it, Pinto on the ethereal or conquistador mold. I only paid 35 for him, which um, was not bad at all. And his seams are really well sanded down, his markings are crisp. And then I have Ganache, who was a special run in 2015. I paid $50 for him, which was his original purchase price. So I was super happy to be able to secure that one. The next one here that I have is, wow, uncalled for, <clears throat> on strapless. She was 65, I believe. I think I offered them 60 and they took it. And then uh, probably one of my greatest finds for the whole weekend was Party Girl. Um, she's a JH special run. Um, and I got her for $40. And I've seen her go online for as much as $200. Um, couple, a few more Thursday night horses. Um, treasured moves. I got this one from one of Chelsea Benj's rooms in the Clarion. Um, I believe she was 35. And I will probably try to fix that little spot on her mane. And then uh, another one of my very most favorite finds. Um, was this Kel Surprise. I was super upset that Lonesome Glory was the surprise horse last year because unfortunately I couldn't make it to Briarfest. Um, but this year I got him and I got him for only $125. So I'm going to move on to Friday now. Friday morning I did not do the NPOD. Um, so we just got there early enough to be in the front of the other lineup um, at the gates. The one that isn't going to the pop-up store and the Briar store. Um, so I was actually in the front of that other line, and I was only the second person of the weekend um, to get my single day stable mates. So that was pretty cool. Um, not that it really matters, but these guys are really cute. Um, $60 was what I paid total for these guys. So this next horse is probably the most special horse of the weekend. Um, so Friday morning, I got my single day stable mates, and then my boyfriend and I were just walking around the vendors, just seeing what we could find. And we ended up at Walkabout Farms, and I found this Roxy, and she was $120. She's a beautiful etchy done by Val of Walkabout Farms, and I was absolutely in love, but I could not spend the $120 that it, she cost. So I had kind of just resigned myself to the fact that I couldn't get her, um, and all of a sudden my boyfriend just picked her up off the shelf, and asked to buy her and I was absolutely floored. I was so thankful and so happy um, and I am going to treasure this girl forever. Um, it's the first and only Briar so far that he's um, gotten for me and it just means a lot that he supports this hobby. <laughs> so that's my little sap story of the weekend for you guys. So we're now on to Friday um, and this horse wouldn't fit on the shelf and I was not about to risk him falling off. So 
I believe I paid 65 for him. At the swap meet, I was um, towards the front and I got this um, Lonesome Glory, this um, ASB, and Flash. I paid $50 total for these two. And then I also picked up Flash, I think he was 20. And then on another table I found this summer. And when I saw that he was still there at the swap meet and hadn't been bought yet, um, I just had to go ahead and get this guy. So I almost forgot about this guy. I saw him Thursday night and I thought about getting him, but then I was like, oh, I don't know. Kind of want to look around before I throw down a big chunk of money right away. So I left him and shortly after I decided that it was a pretty reasonable price and that I wanted to go back to the room and find him. However, as many of you guys know that have been to the Clarion, that place is like a maze. You can't find the same room twice. I swear to God, they disappear. The rooms get up and walk away. I'm not even joking. Um, but I could not find his room for the life of me. Uh, so Friday night I looked again um, after the swap meet and I found the room again. I think that they had closed it pretty early on Thursday and that was why I couldn't find it. Um, but I found this guy again and I was actually able to get them down in price. They had him at 85. I offered them 65. <clears throat> and we met in the middle at 70. Uh, so moving on to Saturday morning now. Uh, we did st um, stand in the store line on Saturday morning even though we didn't on Friday. So uh, we got there really, really, really early in the morning. We were at the very front of the line. I was number five um, in line and I met some really cool people in front of me who had um, actually already been to the pop-up store on Friday. And they picked up this guy, Copacabana, I believe is his name, and they didn't want him, so they sold him to me in the line at cost, and I was super excited to get him, so I paid the $8 that Briar originally charged for him. So by Saturday night at the Clarion, I was pretty broke. <laughs> so I knew I could only get a couple horses, um, which I wasn't too disappointed about because I had gotten tons of other um, great models throughout the weekend. So I had seen this Taskin. Um, I think they had them at $130 previously. So I offered them $70 and they took it. So other than Taskin, this horse was the only other horse that I got at the room sales on Saturday because I was broke. <laughs> I offered them $25 because it was um, Saturday night. So I just figured I would go ahead and do that and got this guy <coughs> on the Huckleberry Bay mold. So I'll just have to get him a stand, but it's really not a big deal at all. So I know this is the part that you guys have all been waiting for, so without further ado, these are the special ones that I got. Um, well, first of all, we can't forget the poor Imperador. Good gosh, this celebration horse trumps all the other celebration horse for ugliest horse, in my opinion. So although the celebration horse was a letdown, it was okay, that one's free, so could be worse, right? I knew right away, as soon as I saw Bozeman, that I wanted him. Um, so I did go ahead and get him. He has really well done eyes. That's one thing that stood out to me. I really like his eyes. So originally I was not planning on getting Fiorano, but I had the money um, to go ahead and get her when I was in the special run line. And she's glossy, and I love glossies, so I caved in and got her. Um, and then I got Sheila, Shayla, I think it's Shayla. Um, you guys can tell that I'm awful at pronouncing models' names. <laughs> Um, but I didn't have a horse on the Bobby Joe mold yet, so I was, I was happy that they made one that normal people could afford. Okay, last but not least, I got two Samba Surprise horses. Esprit's not my favorite mold, but um, once I saw the two paint patterns on this, um, this mold, I knew I had to get them. Um, so the glossy um, Dunn Tobiano was definitely my favorite variation. I was very, very lucky and fortunate, um, and I pulled this guy. I had multiple offers to trade him, but I was not about to let him go, so he's definitely going to be a show horse. And then I also pulled the most common variation, which was the um, Dark Bay. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't checked out my Instagram account yet, please go do so. It's pretty cool. I do a lot of sneak previews for my YouTube channel and cool things like that. It's Fancy Horse Lover Studios, no capital letters and no underscores. And I will definitely check out your channel if you are model horse related. So until next time, guys, stay fancy.